The biggest pain point when it comes to using these AI tools for people right now aren't actually the tools themselves. The tools are better than ever and allow us to literally bring some version of any idea we have to life and put it on the screen and share it with people. It's the cost of the tools and it is juggling the multiple subscriptions it takes to get to that end result. Maybe you have your LLM to write your script. You have an image generator to generate your imagery. And then we need a video generator to animate those images and bring them to life. And then we need an audio component for the voiceover and maybe the background music. It gets to be a lot. Well, to ease that burden, today I'm gonna show you how you can tell a compelling short form story that is about 95% automated and done for you, all from a single natural language chat window. And the best part, you are only paying for the tools that you actually use to make the video. So there's no more juggling the subscriptions, but let's jump in. I'm going to explain, and then I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is. This is what the current short form content cycle looks like as someone creating with AI. We can all agree that for getting your work or your story in front of people, short form content is king. More and more people are starting to now realize that the story part of that content is the most important because we are now in the part of the timeline where everything looks cool. So looking cool is no longer the, the differentiator. It is your story. Now to get the short form content out to tell your story, there are a number of tools that you need. You need something to write the script or to help you with your prompts because chances are you are not a master prompt writer, nor do you probably want to be. You just want to tell your story. You need your image generator, your video generator. You need something to generate your audio or voiceover. And at the end of it all, you probably need a piece of software to edit it together like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or CapCut. All these things cost money and they all cost time because we're not even factoring in the endless amounts of iteration. Well, in the world of agents now, we can bundle all of these things up and wrap it into a system prompt so that the brain of the agent, your Claude, your GPT-5, your Gemini 3 Pro, understands the specialty of the story that you're trying to tell. And all you need to bring is your high level idea. So that's where we're starting from. So we're going to hop into our product studio agent, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to tell a compelling short form story. Here we are in glyph.app and the specific agent that we're going to be working with today to accomplish this short form story is called product studio. Now there's two sides to the glyph website. There's the agents and there's workflows for this specific video. We are sticking with the agents. So we want to make sure that we are in the agent part of the site and in the search bar, we are just going to type in product studio. Our product studio agent is going to pop up. The first thing we're going to be met with is an example of what the agent does as well as the description. This agent creates short form videos about your product or brand, video generation, editing, and voiceover. Now we have a couple buttons under here where we can ask it to tell us what it does. Let's generate a short video about my product or let's generate a short video for my brand. So the example we're going to give here today is for a bathing ape. If you don't know what Bape is, it was a luxury streetwear brand that was super popular in the early 2000s that was made popular by like Pharrell and Lil Wayne and a whole gang of other rappers. But it was pretty iconic and the clothing is still around and it's still pretty expensive. So what we are going to do is we're going to give the logo to Product Studio and we're going to tell it I would love to create a short video about how the Bape clothing brand got started. We're going to send it that message. And the very first thing Product Studio is going to do is going to run off and do a web search on Bape with perplexity to gather the information as well as analyze the logo image that we gave it. After it does its web search, it's going to generate us the first frame of this story in three different distinct styles, miniature tilt shift, photorealism, and Pixar. And at this point, we need to choose which style we would like 
to tell this story in. So right here we have photorealism, we have the Pixar style, and we have the miniatures. I really like the way the miniature one looks, so I'm gonna click the tilt shift button right here. Now the agent is going to go off, generate the three images, and come back with the story and the production plan. So now the agent generated our three images and it gives us the layout so we can see what's supposed to be happening in each scene. We want to look at the images and see if there's anything we need to edit. So already right here in number two. Now I'm really happy with the logos, with the, the actual Ape logo, but we can see that it's spelled Bape wrong. It's spelled Bape Bappa. And in this image, in the nowhere drop, I kind of want there to be more actual like Bape shirts and this one looks pretty good. So that's image two and image three. So I'm going to tell the agent, these look great. However, in image two, I need you to use Nano Banana Pro to edit the word BAPA to say Bape on the front of the building. And then in image three, we want more of the clothing on the racks and just in the store to actually be Bape clothing with the logo and their iconic camouflage print on it. So use Nano Banana Pro to edit that as well. We send it off with those instructions to fix those frames for us and let's see if it can do it. Now, if we look at it, Nano Banana Pro did its job. The word Bape is spelled correctly on the outside of the store and all the clothing in this store is the iconic camel print and it has the logo of the monkey on all the shirts. So now it is asking if it should proceed with the voiceover and animations now that we're happy with the images. And you can see that we got image one, image two, and it tells us that it edited image three and image four. So we're going to click yes, proceed. And it's going to go off. It's going to animate all of these videos and it's going to create the voiceovers and background music using 11 labs. Now, the cool part about this is it's going to generate all the voiceovers individually and then it's going to make sure the voiceovers actually conform to the length of the video clips. All right, so the agent just spit out all four of the video clips. Now it's going to mix the voiceovers with the background music behind it. And then it's going to stitch it all together into a single cohesive video. And it's going to put the captions on it for us. All right, so it just delivered the final video. Let's take a look at it and let's see how it did. In 1993, a young designer named Nigo opened a small shop called Nowhere in Tokyo's Harajuku district. Inspired by hip hop culture and Japanese pop art, he dreamed of creating something bold and exclusive for streetwear. He launched a bathing ape with limited runs of graphic tees, collaborating with artist SK8 Thing on the iconic ape logo. The scarcity and bold designs created a cult following, transforming Bape into a global streetwear phenomenon. Woo! Boy. Man, now obviously, we could go in and we could go back and we could reiterate and we could finesse and we could finesse and we could finesse, but that is where you're able to get with the agent in one shot with one or two edits. And that's how easy it is to create compelling content within an agent environment. All the tools are available for you. The agent has the system prompt designed to focus on a specific task. All you need to bring is your high level idea and be able to articulate what you want to the agent. You saw how easy it was for us to edit the imagery with Nano Banana Pro. All we had to do was tell it exactly what we wanted and within one edit, we got it back and it was off making the video. My name is JBooks Creative. This is Glyph.app. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let us know down in the comments. If you didn't enjoy the tutorial, please let us know down in the comments. But more so, if you did, please consider hitting us with the like and the subscribe because we will have more high quality tutorial content coming for you every single week. Go make something cool, and if you make it with us, please tag us at Hey Glyph so we can see it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.